Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you this glittery bronzy makeup look. And the first thing I do is always prime my eyelids and I'm using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And now I'm going in with the Makeup Geek Creme Brulee Eyeshadow. And um, if you are following my YouTube for a while, you know I always go in with Orange Soda by Anastasia Beverly Hills. But the Creme Brulee Eyeshadow is very familiar. Also the Peach Smoothie Eyeshadow. This is like a sort of in-between shade, but this is just a very nice shade to go first in whenever you go for a warm brown eye look and just blend this all over the place in your crease. And I'm using a Morphe M504 brush. Now I'm going in with Makeup Geek 10 Lines eyeshadow and this is a super pretty warm brown eyeshadow shade. It's just super gorgeous. I also like to use this just on a regular base and I blend this all over in my crease. It's just a very pretty shade which I think looks pretty on all eye colors and also on every complexion. If you have like darker skin tone as I have, then it's just super gorgeous as well to just slightly warm up that crease. And I'm using a blending brush by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm just blending this back and forth in my crease. So now I'm going in with Fudge eyeshadow also by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is a lot darker and I'm just going to press this in my outer V using a flat blending brush. And then I'm going to softly sort of blend this more towards my crease. As you can see this shade is much darker than all the other eyeshadows that I have used. So it was kind of hard to work with. It was smarter if I would go with a sort of in-between shade first instead of going straight in with a dark shade like this. But yeah, I'm just going to blend around the edges just as long as I think it looks well blended out. Now I'm going in with Makeup Geek Legend Eyeshadow, a super pretty shade. I think everyone needs to have this one in their life. And I'm going to use this for at the beginning of my eyelids using a pencil brush by Dose of Colors. And now for the middle part of my eyelids I'm going in with MAC Antiqued Eyeshadow. A super pretty shade and it's one of the first MAC eyeshadows that I have ever purchased. I do have to say like if I compare the metallic eyeshadows from Makeup Geek with the MAC ones. I think the Makeup Geek ones are so much better pigmented. Because with this antique eyeshadow had I had to go in with my brush super often to get the pigmentation that I wanted. But besides that, this shade is super gorgeous and I don't have a shade like this from Makeup Geek, but yeah. If I had to choose for eyeshadows, I would say Makeup Geek is definitely my favorite brand. So now I'm going to use the MAC Mixing Medium and I'm going to use this in combination with this bronze glitter by the brand RXI. And I'm going to use that to make it stick on the eyelid. So first I apply a little bit of that MAC Mixing Medium on my eyelid and then I'm going on top of that with the RXI glitter. And I'm using a MAC 242 brush, one of my favorite brushes for applying glitter. And I'm just going to slowly build it up. While doing this I really felt like the glitters looked sort of patchy. But at the end it will look a lot better thankfully. But even though I don't know what it was, the glitters just applied a little bit different than normally. But now I'm going in with my Sigma Wicked Gel Eyeliner and I'm going to apply this above my lash line. And today I'm not going for a cat wing, I'm just going to create a simple line above the lash line. Every time I go in with lashes I just feel like um, applying a line above the lash line makes the lash band look less visible. Don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, I just prefer doing it like this. To apply the gel eyeliner, I'm using a winged liner brush by Zigma. I have a special discount code for Zigma. We'll link it down in the description bar. Um, they also have a eyebrow brush, which I think works a little bit better than this one, but I couldn't find it. But they have the same shape. So now I'm going back in with the Fudge eyeshadow by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And now I'm going to apply this for underneath my lower lash line. And since I have also applied this shade in my outer V, I'm going to try to connect the shade which I'm applying right now underneath the lower lash line to also sort of blend this towards my outer V. So the eyeshadows on the eyelid connect with the shades underneath the lower lash line. I hope that makes sense. And I'm using a pencil brush by Dose of Colors. So now I'm going back in with the Legend eyeshadow by Makeup Geek which is so freaking pretty. And I'm using that same pencil brush and I'm going to softly blend and sort of press this underneath your lower lash line so this shade blends together with the matte shade 
So now for my waterline, I'm going in with this Marc Jacobs highliner pencil in the shade Earthquake. And it's a very pretty warm brown eyeshadow shade. And as I have mentioned in my recent videos, the Marc Jacobs pencils are my current favorite. They're super pigmented and they stay perfectly in place in your waterline. And then I'm especially talking about their matte eye pencils. I haven't tried their shimmery ones yet. So now for my lashes, I'm going in with Bossy Lashes from Anytude. And I quickly applied them off camera. And yes, this is already the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Let me know what you want to see for my next video. If you have any suggestions, you're always welcome. And yeah, don't forget to thumbs up if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, of course. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, guys.